Hello and I'm back. It's probably about a week later from using some products you've probably just seen me use. I'm going to try and sum up what I can. Now, I have a monster spot here somewhere I've got makeup on and I had one here somewhere as well. So it's not the best time for a before and after photo to um, advertise some of the products because it wouldn't be fair. So I thought I'd talk to you instead. So we'll kick off with the Himalayan charcoal mask that I tried. So get on with this face. I've had a few hours of gardening, but it's extremely warm. Look at the state of me. But I could wash and I am now going to try this. It's the Body Shop Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Mask. I'm not going to put it on on camera because my proper camera's downstairs. This is just my phone, so I'll put it on. Let you see it on. We'll let you know how it feels when I take it off. Okay. Oh, my face feels so tight. Um, I think I've had it on for about four minutes. Um, it's tingling. I was a bit worried. I thought, am I going to have a reaction to this? But then I read it's supposed to tingle. Um, it was really, really cool when it went on and given how warm my face was, that was lovely. But it feels, I don't know if it's me or the mask, my face feels warm now. So it says five to 10 minutes. I'm probably going to leave at five just in case I have some sort of reaction. But um, it's the first time I've used it. I don't know if the tingling's a thing, but I shall let you know how we get on when I rinse it off. I've just noticed. Look at my pores. Oh my God. I'm really happy with that. Now I know my face is my face. You saw my face before I started. It was beetroot. Um, that's actually cooled it down and it, I don't feel like overheated and sweaty and horrible. I know I'd have washed before, but even after I washed, the sweat was still pouring out of my face, but that's really, really helped. Um, I maybe, like I say, look red, but um, I've just obviously washed off my face. I've had a little spray of this as well which smells divine. Cocoa Calming Face Mist. So I'll let the old visage breathe a bit. Ooh, what was that outside the window? But yeah, I really like that one. I feel like it actually, you know, it's done something. As opposed to a couple of um, Avon ones I used that gave me a spot. And, that, and the other one made my face like all red and patchy, but I know the redness in my face now is because I'm overheated, but I feel really clean and soft. Oh, and the scar. So yeah, thumbs up so far. Isn't that a pretty sight, eh? Ooh, it's beginning to dry. Why can't I resist trying to crack it? Um, I really like this. It like makes your face feel like really tightened, but in a good way when you rinse it off and really clean and smooth. So I've got my banana hair mask on. You can't see it, but it's there, I promise. And there's lots on there. Um. I am gonna have, what am I gonna have today? I'm given a couple of days without the tea tree toner because I, I think we're narrowing it down. I think that may be the reason for the greasiness, the oiliness, should I say. So um, I'm gonna skip that and when I take this off, I'm gonna cleanse. Um, I did before I put it on though as well. What do you do? Cleanse, mask, mask, cleanse. Not too sure. Hello, so I'm back. Well, my face feels really clean and you can see how shiny it is in a good way. Um, the Himalayan charcoal mask, I honestly, I don't think you can use anything that gets your face as clean as that does. And then, oh, the scum that comes off. And I had cleansed my face beforehand. Um, I, I was going to fill them and I thought, no, I can't, I'm too embarrassed. I don't know how much of it's a mask and how much of it is dead skin or something. Um, but the crud that comes off your face with that mask, it's definitely my favourite mask that I've used. Um, I've just put uh, I've cleansed my face and I've just put the the seaweed oil control uh, moisturiser on today and we'll see what um, what that does. I love this. I have tried the Matchda Tea Mask, Japanese Matchda Tea Mask as well. Um, and it's really, really good. I think it's gentler on the skin if you're very sensitive skin, which I normally would have. This one causes a bit of a tingle. When I initially tried it, I panicked a bit because I hadn't read up about it, but it's supposed to do that. But when you rinse this one off your face, the charcoal one, it is so refreshed and clean. It almost squeaks, it's so clean. And the crud that comes off your face, it takes all the dead skin off. It looks glowing when you use this. I was really, really pleasantly surprised with this. And this is a product that I would definitely 
buy again. I am going to do a video where having used a few different products, um, I found a routine that works for me. Um, and I'm going to do a video on that and this is part of that. Um, I only would do a mask. I should probably do it a couple of times a week at the minute. I've only been doing it once a week. It's getting the time. Um, but yeah, big thumbs up for this mask. I would thoroughly recommend it. 